Hellcat. Let's begin. Everyone, I am Vipin Sharma from Zala Technologies. Today, I am going to demonstrate project name IoT based solar panel parameter monitoring system. In this project, what we are doing, we are monitoring parameters of the solar panel like current, voltage, then temperature, humidity, and displaying these parameters on this LCD and IoT server. Project, we can also add like light sensor, how much light is falling on this project and we can also use Zigbee to transfer data from one site to another. We can use solar tracker for this project. We can use motor in vertical and horizontal direction to make it solar tracker like single axis dual axis. Now let's see how the components are connected in this project. We are using Arduino microcontroller, Arduino Uno we are using here. You can use any other microcontroller like PIC, Raspberry Pi, Arduino Nano or another type of microcontroller as required. Then we are using LCD 16 cross 2 to display the parameters on LCD. Then we are using voltage divider circuit to measure the voltage of this uh, panel because microcontrollers cannot sense more than 5 volt. It can get damaged. And then we are using humidity sensor DHT11 to measure the relative humidity and temperature nearby the surroundings. And we are using ESP8266 that is Wi-Fi module. This one is our power hub module to give power supply to different modules as required and this one is our uh, current sensor to measure the current required by this DC now motor. Let's see the working of this project, how this project works. So just first connect this wire, B tap wire. Okay, now this project is on. Now we will see the current flowing through this motor. Current required by this motor is in milliampere, it's showing here. Voltage is zero because I am in front and this voltage will update slowly because internet is getting these values okay and humidity here is 61% and temperature nearby my area is 27% so it is exactly showing the reading which should be and uh, this ESP module will drop values here I have turned off the motor and this one is your IoT graph so this is the voltage, current in milliampere, humidity, then temperature and after that solar panel output. I have shown in graph 1 also and this is gauge meter. So it is showing more than 10,000 millivolt. Okay. This can be saved like to many days and it will overwrite when like 30 days is completed so this is data logger also for the solar panel measurement so you can monitor the values of these parameters so these are all things connected together and let me show you readings again okay and uh, these are component i will tell you again tc motor battery switch to turn on the motor microcontroller and this one is a current sensor lcd Voltage divider circuit, power hub module, solar panel, and your DHT11. So these are the main components of this project. To connect this project to internet, what we have to do? We have to create one hotspot with the name. Uh, let me show you here. Go to setting. And this one is your project and then network password then bandwidth okay so this need to be connected first and on this pc there will be one device occurs okay so this this device is this one okay so this one will connect to this device after that just close this and you can see your entry has come less than a minute so this is the fresh entry on iot so what is this mean so these are the readings from internet of this solar panel parameters Okay, so these solar panel parameters you can see on this. Okay, so this last entry is less than a minute. Three days ago I created this project. And you can share this project details on internet also. Like with your friends. You can also add widgets from here. Like how to display numeric form on lamp indicator. 
like when some value is triggered okay so that's the working of this project one more thing friends you can search zara technologies on google you will find our website and on website you will find so many things about engineering projects like ppt project reports documents codes tutorials etc you can also come here for mtech project btech project phd project and you can submit your requirement here to make the project custom projects and in lab also you can come and in lab you can make project by your own in our guidance in one day workshop you can buy project component etc from online or offline both options are available if you want to make something unique new creative just whatsapp us on the number given in the description box and guys thank you so much for watching the video you can subscribe to this channel for more project ideas tutorial videos diy videos etc thank you so much